Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we got a couple new quests on the board I had just noticed. Uh, it's about time the bandits paid for their misdeeds. I have a plan to teach them a lesson. Please meet me at the Defiant Root Blacksmithy. I will tell you everything then. <laughs> and we also have... It's too hot. Uh, isn't that... No, that's not. Yeah. I, um, whoa, has it always been this hot in here? I can't even step outside. I'm practically trapped in the Defiant Root Museum. Anyone around to hear me out? Thanks in advance. All right. Um, so yeah, how's it going, huh? Yeah, uh, welcome back. I'm the Comic Foil. I'm the Green Scorpion. Um, so I realized something. So you know how there were two ants they looked a lot like this named, uh, Gen and Airy at, at the... Uh, at the beehive with us. Yeah, they 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 also we also met them uh, in the desert on the way to the to the uh, bee kingdom. Yeah, reoccurring characters. Um, like most of the characters, there's like there's a some, pun. Yeah, they're generic. So they're Gen Airy. Airy. Oh my god, uh, really? If you just put a C onto the end of it, they'd be generic. That's horrible. Uh, what do you want? Explorers, the queen has approved escorts between the outskirts and Defiant Root. Will you ride the caravan? Oh, nuts! Cool! Um, that's cool, but not right now. Okay! That, that's actually nice. So we can basically, like, travel between here and the Defiant Root. Yeah, like, really quick. I'm fine with that. I thought this was Defiant or, Root. Or, not Defiant Root, um, the other one, the other place, whatever it was called. So, what's on the agenda for today? Um, I was thinking I'd try and tackle, um, these side quests, because, um... Aside from that, the next, like, main quest thing is we're supposed to go back out into the desert to that one, uh, big block. Yeah. That those two explorers found. Mm -hmm. That, like, the roaches left behind. Yeah, yeah. But for now, let's talk to Aramie here. Uh, ah, it's too hot. Isn't there an ancient fan in here? Uh, no. This, you must be Aramie. Uh, ah, uh, yep, that's me. How may we help you combat this heat spell? Lee, freeze her up! <laughs> Leap actually did it. Wow, what a nice breeze. Mission complete. Hey up! Well, wait! It's already hot again. I'm super thankful, but I need something that will last after you're gone. Hmm. Perhaps an umbrella? Or some sort of ointment to shield you from the sun's rays? I'll take anything, really. Please, I'm begging you. So much for the easy check. I'll find something, so sit tight. Try not to, uh, work yourself up until then. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we're... Uh... I, I don't know, I just love how Lee just nonchalantly, here, have some ice magic. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so yeah, any ideas on this one? So, yeah, I don't know, we need some sort of umbrella. Uh, Might be something we'll have to tackle uh, later. Under renovation, come back soon. Yeah, so we might leave that one for now. Um, Crispy, I wanted to check with really quick. Um, um, we'll help you train. What did you want again? Uh, a, a spud. Yeah, it needs a spud. No idea what a spud... No idea. Like, we've never seen a spud yet, have we? We, we have. I think they sell them in this village, we determined. But um, really quick, let me just get rid of a couple things that I have here. So, if I take this danger shroom, which I just bought, yeah, and I cook it by itself. Okay. I get the cook cooked danger. danger. Uh, Restores five TP at a price. Now, if I take um, cook with one ingredient, and I take, say, this agaric shroom, yeah. Um, Wouldn't restores. it just make a cooked shroom? It will just make a cooked shroom. But that's actually what I want right now. Okay. Ba -ba. <laughs> are you gonna cook it? Are you gonna cook the cooked shroom with the danger shroom? Yes, I am. Okay. I'm wondering where this is going because I haven't I haven't seen the um, the uh, recipe list like you have. Yeah, cook danger and cook shroom. Uh huh. Huh. Mushroom Skewer. Restores 6 HP to an ally and 3 TP. Huh. Okay. 
mushroom skewer, suddenly we're in Breath of the Wild again. Yeah, it, it is a very Breath of the Wild kind of kind of recipe. The funny thing is, like, I understand that mushroom skewers are actually a thing, but, like, yeah. I, I've had, like, you know, skewers and shish kebabs before, but never with just mushrooms. It was yeah. always with, like, some other vegetable or meat. Yeah. So, Usually like, I don't even have mushrooms on them, because I'm just not a really big mushroom guy. Oh, I love mushrooms, man. Like, g give, give me a skewer with mushrooms and I will eat it. It's just, it also happens to be, like, paired up with something else, like peppers or, like, beef. I thought for sure there was a shop in town that would just sell spuds, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, you got me on that. Oh, I didn't even realize you could go co up here. What is this? Oh, oh that's yeah, that's mayor. right. It's the mayor. I forgot. Yeah. Go, go around real quick. Because it seems like you should. Looks like there's something up here. Just gonna cut this really quick. Like, go, okay. go back up there real quick. Oh, right. That's back to the bazaar. Um, and, like, you see that little. Yeah, there. Oh, it's a locked okay. door. We don't have the key for this place, but I don't think. But we do think. have the <laughs> plushie. Okay. I'm just going to be doing that everywhere I can think of. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so... Yeah, let's check these out. Quest lists. Yeah. Um, Lost Books, Awful Beauty, Lease Request. What's Lease Request again? Um, About uh, their family. Right, right. Um... So, there's the bounties, obviously. I want to get better, which is, like, Crisby, so yeah, we need to find a... Yeah, spud? My specialty. Um, Tang a tangy berry and a golden seedling, which is something we're just gonna have to, like, stumble yeah. upon, for the uh, most part. Oh, yeah, these, these requests is, is, uh... trade requests. We need to go to Metal Island, I think, for the next thing. Yeah, Butler Missing. Um, got lost while, visit while we visited the Golden Hills to offer tribute, so it looks like we have to go back to the Golden Settlement. Yeah. Uh, Power Plant Invi- Oh, we could do that while we're here! Right. Um. Well, we are already in the Golden Settlement, so there and you go. Where did you say we meet the the blacksmithy? Um. Oh yeah, isn't that like uh, further north, actually? Like. Yeah, like we actually. Go oh with, yeah, yeah it's we actually all go the way to the in the back. Yeah, it's this building back here. Yep. There's the man. You took my request, didn't you? We did. Beat some bandits, is that it? Yes. These blasted bandits. I will never forgive them. Please, I cannot go by myself. I have my reasons. Besides, I am not equipped for it. Leave it to us. We will teach those evildoers a lesson. You have my gratitude. I need you to defeat at least 20 of them. Any of them will do. Be it the dragonflies, the crickets, the ladybugs, whichever. Just beat them up so they stop attacking the citizens of Defiant Root. You got it! Just have our reward ready when, we, when we're back. As long as they stop attacking us, you shall receive your reward. Notify me once you've beaten 20 of them. Okay, so this is a... So this is a grind de mission. Yeah, defeat X number of... Yeah, but we've collected it now, so that's good. Alright, cool. Um, so again, I suppose that's something like we can do, like, passively? Yeah, while we're out... Yeah, um, check some of the other quests we have, unless you want to go up to the power plant. Um, yeah, let's go, let's go try the power plant thing. Alright, let's see what we got. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't attack the NPC. You just walk up to him and start headbanging. <laughs> it's more like reverse headbanging, because yeah. the emphasis is on the upswing rather than the downswing. That's true. Would Kabu be a metalhead? Um, I don't think so. I don't know, what, well, Anything Kabu likes, he really, really likes. True. So if he happened to get into it, he would be huge, but I don't... I don't think he would be into a... I don't think he would be a metalhead. Like, yeah. I imagine he would be... He, oh, jeez. Who is it? Oh, it's you. How's the ADVP been treating you? It's awesome! It really helped us out. <laughs> of course. My tools are the best there is. Um, we seem to have forgotten your name. Oh, hmm, right. I'm Professor Honeycomb, renowned scientist of the Bee Kingdom. Or I was, until that Dr. H.B. took my spot. H.B.'s creations all use weird tech she found studying the old roaches, you see. Disgusting. While I do, while I do use ancient crystals, the roaches didn't create them. I'd never use borrowed technology for my experiments. I'll create the perfect ADVP through my own superior intellect. 
What? The Beamerang isn't good enough yet? Yours is nothing special. It's just one of many in the ADBP Mark II series. When I finish the Mark III, they will seem like children's toys. What? Can you upgrade mine again? I'd consider it, if only because of the data you've helped me round up. If I managed to harness the crystal energy into the prototypes, the ADVP could spend forever generating infinite energy. Incredible. That's really not how physics work. And then I'd reclaim my spot as the Bee Kingdom's lead scientist. You have a noble goal. Won't you let us help you in the name of science? Free upgrade. Maybe later, but for now, be gone. You're getting in the way of my research. Yikes. Fine, let's come back later. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, there's just beamerang sitting all over. That's great. Okay, I think I overshot where I was trying to go. For some reason, like, if Kabu were to listen to music, I imagine he'd listen to, like, classical music. Or, like, you know, movie soundtracks. I think he... I think movie soundtracks. I think he's a big nerd. Yeah, like, I imagine he would, like, listen to... Like, he would listen to, like, Lord of the Rings or, like, you know, something like that. Yeah. Or, like, you know, the Marvel Cinematic Universe uh, music, um, musical score. Oh, yeah, he'd be really big into Ant-Man. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> You're terrible. Uh, yeah, there's no spuds in here, right? Nah. Um, jeez, um... Okay, so who are we actually... Let's find who the quest giver is. Uh, Power Plant Investigation. Factory power plant located in... Oh, the Golden Settlement. Wait. Aren't we in the Golden Settlement? No, no we're the in the Defiant Root, right? Yeah. Huh. Oh, yeah, the Golden Settlement is where you, like, you know... There's, yeah, a, there's a power plant factory over there? Um, there must be, yeah. I mean, I remember there being a, uh, a windmill. Let's... Yeah, I guess we can just go to the Defiant... Or not Defiant... We can just go to the Golden Settlement at this point. Yeah. Interesting. I, well, it's good we came here anyway because we got that conversation about the beamerangs. Yeah, that's fine. Um, jeez, I'm trying to think now. Um, yeah, I imagine, like, Kabu would listen to a lot of, like, uh, classical or, like, movie soundtracks. Yeah. Leaf would absolutely listen to lo-fi. Oh, I could see it, yeah. Like, like, Leaf didn't have lo-fi back in his time, but since coming back into the world, he's discovered it. He, he, he would absolutely listen to lo-fi. Yeah. Like, no, no doubt about that. Um, I actually think it's worth it if you just, like, go through, um... Make sure you ha don't have the Bug Me Not equipped, and, like, go through this area and just, like, take out any bandits you see. Okay. Um, like... Let me make sure... Yeah. Yeah, take off the Bug Me Not. Um... Not resistance why not, right? Yeah. What would... What would V listen to? Um, I could see V as, like, a, uh, pop music kind of... Yeah, I can definitely see that. Okay, so... She would listen to those hot beats. <laughs> yeah. Uh, dude, like, I, I've been listening to... I, I've been hanging out with you and Amber for far too long at this point, because, like, this is like the... This is like the 20th pun I've made this week. I mean, I know... Because I've been playing Cadence of Hyrule, and I know you like that in Necrodancer. Those are very punny They games. are extremely punny games. So... Nice. Alright, cool. Not bad. Yeah, we're not getting too much experience. We're not gonna get any experience out of these guys, but hey, we're beating the bandits, Yeah, so. we need to... We need to beat 20 of them. Now... Oh, jeez. Jerk! Right, there's a way to tell when they're about to fake you out like that. For the life of me, I still haven't figured it out. It has something to do with, like, if they jump first or something. Ah, okay. Yeah, like, at this point, like, there's really no consequence of you just using your abilities. Especially if it means that they lose a turn. I see what you're getting at. Not cool, by the way. Okay, um, skills. Pep talk? Pep talk. Um. 
Yeah, I say take out the, uh, him. Yeah, with Leaf. Okay, so this is gonna be a fake out. I still mess it up, but I was right, it was a fake out. Okay, I see now. It's if he does the jump before coming forward. Got it, got it. Good to know. See, I can imagine that would be a little bit difficult to... Admittedly, though, like, you got a net positive in health because of that sleep. So that kind of worked out in your favor. I guess so. Sort of. But yeah, like, V would listen to... Yeah, I, I imagine V would listen to pop music. Okay, so now Ooh. we got another three of them. Um, oh, this is like Icefall territory if you can knock out that, like, that back, uh, that Dragonfly Bandit first. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, I'll do a knockdown first. Um, yeah, these guys have a lot of health. Yeah, I forgot how much they have. Okay, A to fill the bar. Nice. And then... Uh, yeah, Ice Fall. Awesome. What? You're tired. Oh. I thought I had double... I thought I had double attack that round. Because I started the round. Well, you had, you had double actions. Yeah. But I think exhaustion still applies. Oh, okay. Um. Well, this got interesting. You wanna use like don't be afraid to use items. Yeah, I guess you're right. The good news is we are actually getting experience from these guys, so Yeah. You jerk! Um, okay, we'll... I guess I'll use another magic seed. It's getting really messy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, knock, knock down the, guy, the item from that guy before he steals it. Nope, he's gone. Yeah, I guess I didn't do enough to stop him. Damn. my egg. We had to give him an egg. <laughs> <laughs> I know, bad job. Yeah, tribute egg. Oh, hey, the current crunchy leaf. That's always nice. Yeah. So what kind of music do you listen to while you're working and stuff? Like, um, I know you listen to a lot of, like, podcasts. Yeah. Like, as well, but, uh... Well, I can't listen to anything with, like, Word. Like, I can't listen to podcasts when I'm trying to work because I won't be able to keep concentration. Right. Um, well, what kind of music do you listen to? Like, either video game else? soundtracks or mm -hmm. show tunes, but same thing, I can't listen to lyrics while I'm trying to work. Nah, I get that. Uh, hey. Uh, yeah, was it, yeah, it was me, right? voice her. Hey, uh, great festival this year, huh? I know, right? We heard some interesting rumors during it. You know of the windmills leading to this settlement? Yes. They help provide power to Bagaria, do they not? Seems they tried to build one in a pretty dangerous place, and some workers got hurt. An incredibly cruel monster haunts the way to the Golden Settlement. That's the Devourer again, I think. Yeah. Really? We didn't see anything on the way here. Apparently it's pretty high in the... Apparently it's a pretty high up area. Does it ring any bells? But yeah, it'd be nice if the area got reclaimed. Maybe they could build a windmill then. 
We'll scout around if, if we're nearby. Thank you for the information. Be wary of traveling there as well. No worries. Have safe travels, everyone. So yeah, that, that, as you said, that's probably the Devourer. Yeah. I actually would like to tackle that one uh, sometime soon. Maybe like either this episode or the next episode, because I feel like we might be strong enough to take it on now. We could give it another try. We have a lot Especially more... like, you, you know what we should do? Abilities. You yep. know what we should do? Like we should stop by the black market um, later on and um, maybe grab, um, maybe grab the poison attacker because that uh, thing is very heavy on poison. Okay. It would be a good way to... It, it would be an interesting way to do it. Okay, um... Hold on just a second, guys, because I'm going to look for something else I can cook really quick. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, two pretty simple ones, but we actually haven't done them yet. All right. Um, so if I do honey drop and crunchy leaf... This is how we make a honeyed leaf, which has been available to buy before, but now we have one. Got it. And um, then a second one? Yeah, so I just bought... Like... Oh, right, you want the tangy berry, but we don't have it yet. Yeah. Okay, honey drop with this aphid dew I just bought. Huh. What does this make? An elixir of some kind? Sort of. Sweet, sweet dew. dew. Um, incredibly sweet drink that will help, that will keep you up all night, uh, restores 9 TP and cures sleep. Cool! Yeah. So, I'm probably just gonna be, like, checking my list every so often throughout the game whenever we're in a town, just to be like, hey, what can we cobble together? Hey, I'm fine with that. Um. That's not what I want. Uh, I want to rest. All right, so there we go. So, do we have to go into um, Venus's area for that one request? I don't think so. I think, or do I, we just need to like? I know look there's around? a windmill, so that might be. It might be on the other side of town, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, because I know there's a devourer, but like that's a whole separate ordeal. Here we go. Yeah, this place. I think this might be power planty enough. I do love the defiant roots work on there. Oh, this is yeah. The guy we got here. the uh, thing from yeah. them. Okay, so. Hello, anyone? <laughs> Koshneels? I have no idea. Uh, the aphids don't fall behind. Oh. Okay, that was a discovery, apparently. Oh, okay, that works. Yeah, I'm not seeing anyone here that might... Oh, you know what? There's that gate all the way to the left. Oh, yeah. Oh, and there's, like... Aha! Okay. This place. New area. What do we got here? Ugh. Seems problems never stop popping up for the, us to fix. Drank. The code 32 alert locked the door, and I can't remember how to open it. It's got something to do with all these switches. Think you can figure it out? Oh, dear. Oh, I think we have to, like, uh, make all of them, like, white or, like, lit up. Yep, it's this kind of puzzle. Okay. Um... Ha <laughs> ha! Nice! Okay, is there gonna be another one? Or... Uh, V, what is this machine? That's an energy converter. It, uh, converts all the energy. That's a very helpful description, V. It must use the power generated from the windmill to power the factory's core. Uh, yep. That's what the power plant does. It's no wonder many bees visit the Golden Settlement for the festival. The wind here play... The winds here play a big part in creating delicious honey. Guess it's why the Bee Kingdom ask Elizant to control uh, for control of this place. Elizant. Everyone won because she didn't cling to her territory. Bees won the most because we get to make so much honey. Oh, so that was a discovery. Yep. More world building. Is there anything else? Uh oh. Huh. This hole wasn't supposed to be here. Maybe it is what. Maybe it's what caused the alarm. We should prepare before we go ahead. Okay, because we never knew what actually um, 
Yeah, like cause, cause the alarm. The, yeah. Yeah, save up and let's do this. Because, like, something tells me we're, we're in for a scuffle right about now. Yeah, this might be a uh, uh, surprise boss or something. Hello. That's a lot of eggs. Eggs? Is this what caused the lockdown? What's this feeling in the air? Whoa! Oh, big midge. A giant midge? It's overflowing with electricity. It's gonna pay for causing us so much trouble. Okay, I have numb resistance on, so that might actually come in big handy here. Yeah, all right, so a giant midge. Who did you equip that numb resistance to, though? Uh, that is a great question. Oh, I, wonderful. I kind of just threw it on, but somebody's gonna have numb resistance. I ho I'm kind of hoping it's, um... I'm kind of hoping it's, um... Kabu, but we're just gonna have to figure this out. This is the brood mother. Yeah, wow. Okay, um, so let's spy first. Sounds good. Mother of Hordes, it, it itches, but its numbing does not let me scratch. What cruelty. If we are, if we are to survive, we must block perfectly. Remember, midges react to their comrades' pain. Okay, so I'm guessing there's going to be ads and, yeah. Yeah, thankfully it has zero defense, so you should be able to do some significant damage. Um, I recommend, as I said before, abuse the heck out of Frigid Coffin. Yeah. You gotta knock it down first. Yeah, okay. Okay, so... Frigid, yeah, Frigid Coffin's, Coffin strategy has been working pretty well for us. Awesome! Okay, gonna try something. On it. Um. Skills, Hurricane Toss. Alright. 3, 2, 1, 1. Okay. Yeah. So it's. It hits four times. The first one is that max whatever max, max power, power and it falls off by one every hit to yes. a minimum of one yes so i can see how you can abuse that with like poison attack and in this case freeze and stuff like that yeah 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 um yeah we have lots of tp items so yeah let's just kind of yeah like th this is a this is way too good of an ability to, to not use well done man Okay, I'm gonna stay ahead of TP usage. TP. So one of those things that we cooked should be good for that. Restores five HP and five TP. Restores nine. Yeah. Yeah, go with the sweet do. Awesome. Like we're we were none of us were asleep, but it's whatever. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Fr Frigid Coffin is so broken. It's busted. Like, oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna put Kabu in front now. I agree. One. Like, the thing is, like, I know there's, a, like, a chance, like, a percentage chance of food freeze, but we're just getting it. We're already half- we're already more than halfway. Not this time. Okay. Okay, you can have a turn. Nice block. Okay, that was a perfect block, so I didn't get stunned. Ooh, this guy does damage! Okay, and he's got... He's, he's got, got multiple turns two now. two chances to attack here, so... I'm gonna put V back in front. Alright. Why not, right? Yeah. Go for it. You have the pa you have the power up. Woo! Three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah, because of the power up from favorite one. Okay, because he wasn't frozen, but we still had the plus one. Yeah. Um, speaking of being frozen today, um, and I'm gonna have Kabu use a healing item. So you have Kabu selected. You're right. I guess I'll have him use a healing item now. 
So let's say, I know there's one that's, yeah, 6 HP, 3 TP, or no, I want the 5 and 5, yes. Go for it. Nice. Good thing we came prepared. Yeah. Um. All right, ice them. I'm getting these blocks. Yeah, this guy does damage. Still, we're doing good. We're doing good. We have 20 HP left. Okay, I think if I go for broke, I can just about get him. Go for it. And down he goes. You may have you may need another turn. Yeah. Save the TP for um leaf and uh go from there i think okay i'm yeah i'm still gonna do a frigid coffin mm -hmm. i had a panic attack which one is a which one is a okay i think that was a delayed attack he fired upward all right yeah everyone's yep. powered up now's the time Ooh, 4 HP! Finish him, Leaf. Awesome! <laughs> the brood mother, everybody. Dude, well done! There! That should do it! V, have you found out what caused the lockdown? It seems that this midge was the issue. I see. We will get rid of the eggs before more midges are born. Good work. Allow me to reward you for assisting the bee kingdom. Forty berries. Awesome! Well, we have lots of work to do, so let's get started. Wonderful. Did this become a... Oh no, it's electrified. Okay. I can see the little lightning things now, but my first yeah. thought was like, Wow, a hot spring! That I thought that too, honestly. Dude, getting rid of those eggs was hard. How can they survive in this electrified water? I guess that's why the midges were electrified. They, like, yeah. they evolved to, to be shock absorbent. Mm hmm So what do we have here? Oh, is this going to, um... Where is this? No, where is this going? Secret tunnel. Secret Before tunnel. anything, dude, I suggest you go back to the uh, previous room and uh, save. I see Diana back there. Yeah, like, I, I suggest we save, however, before anything else. Uh, like, yeah. just in case no, we run into something, you know what I mean? You're right, I don't want to have to do that again. Yeah, because that, that was a fight well fought. Just yeah. going to say right now. Leaf is the MVP of this entire game, dude. I'm yeah. sorry. Frigid Coffin is way too goddamn good. I, like, go back and forth between, like... Early on, I was like, wow, Cubby's so tanky, he's broken. And then we started to discover, like, damage strats on V. Yeah. Like, oh, wow, V's broken. <laughs> and then now Leaf is broken. Yeah, like, Kabu is the tank, um, um, V is the DPS, and Leaf is the uh, utility. Yeah, utility mage. Awesome. Yeah, what do we got here? Hello. Oh, hey! It's you guys! So, figured out what you want? 50 berries for this tunnel? We just made 40 berries, so sure. Oh, that's what I'm talking about! Those berries don't even taste that good. We don't think her taste would be the only weird thing here. Oi! I'm doing you a favor, okay? Just sit and watch. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's the same dialogue yeah. every time, but it's still funny to me. I really like Diana. I've, I've made her our, like, skip-ahead image. Oh, that's great. And that'll take us to... Looks like it's going back to, uh, the, the Ant Kingdom. Check it? Yeah. Oh, uh, you gotta talk to the dude. Yeah, I think this is just back to the main hub. Oh, it's going back to the mines. Got it. Okay. Cool! The Far, far grasslands. grasslands! Excuse me? 
Yeah, let's take a let's take a, like I'm down to just explore here. Um, I didn't want to come to the far grasslands, but the queen's orders are absolute. I just hope we don't run into any monsters while here. Well, we just took care of like yeah. the queen of all midges, so yeah, one less monster for you. Okay, and it looks like there's a way to get in from over there and got it, got connect it. everything further. Yeah, but where does where are we? Uh. We're not in Kansas anymore. That's for sure. Uh, are we heading towards the Wasp Kingdom? Uh, maybe. Because that's that's a mother that's a mother effing wasp yeah, right that's, there. That's pretty waspy. Um. Also, we're low on health. Yeah, I didn't consider that saving didn't heal us. If only this creature would stop shooting seeds at us. We could walk past without a fight. Maybe if Leaf manages to freeze it, we could just avoid it. And... Did they really fall for this disguise? Those two. That aside, this enemy's got quite the varied skill set. We'll have to watch out while we block. A mantid fly? Yeah, it's like... Oh, it's a mantis disguised as a wasp. I guess? Because, like, he he said something that I imagine might be, like... Yeah. I don't think we've gotten to that story bit yet. Maybe. That's my best guess, anyway. Yeah. Well, let's see, let's see what we can do here. Maybe we'll get some good experience out of these guys. Good blocking. Ooh. Uh, not good enough. Ah, uh, let me go, let me go, let me go! <laughs> pile driver! Pile driver! For eight damage. Okay, that wasn't even a pile driver. That was just a straight up Azuna drop. It's a good thing you saved! Yeah. I, I think this area might be a little <laughs> bit too much for us right now. I don't think we're supposed to be here. Let's get out of here, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> Yeah, I'm guessing, because we just started Chapter 4, I'm guessing this is like a Chapter 5 or 6 area. Yeah, maybe. Oh my lord. I mean, if we want to get ahead of the curve, like, that might be a good place to grind if we can, like, stomach the battles. But well, Jesus. I think we're more or less at time. Yeah, now would be a good time to end it. So I'm going to get back to the Golden Settlement, uh, heal us up, and we'll see you guys next time for whatever... <laughs> whatever dangers Oscar wants to run us into. You, you know exactly what my thoughts where my thoughts go. Oh, especially boy. after we just deal, dealt with that nonsense. Yeah. All right then. Uh, I'm the Green Scorpion. I'm the Comic Foil. We'll see you guys next time. Um, hold on to your stomachs. I'm like still. I'm like. 50-50 on whether or not we can actually take on the Devourer. Or... I I have a strategy. I okay. Th I think I know what we can do here, and I am All determined right. to do it. Besides, if we actually manage to accomplish this, can you imagine the rewards we're going to get from the underground? I feel like it's going to be quite a bit of experience. Let's do this.